Hey YouTube, it's Nicole, and we're about to start a smuggler adventure. I have made this guy, and he is going to be my smuggler because I figured I would start this adventure on the new server called the Shadowlands, if you want to join me in this. And making this guy a smuggler because my very first character was a smuggler, although I played a female sm uh, smuggler on my first one. So I've made this dude here. He's a Zabrak. I did see things your way. For the right money. And Zabrak looks very, very humanoid, but they put the horns and all that, so... Here's my smuggler. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna push play in just a second, and then we're gonna do the, um, you know, the big starter cut screen. So, I'm gonna come back after that, and we'll get started playing the game. I can't believe you made it through that separatist shooting gallery, Captain. Your ship isn't even scratched. It takes guts landing in the middle of a battlefield. Nice flying. Somebody want to explain what's going on? The separatists are invading this village, attacking everyone who isn't one of them. My name's Skavik. I'm picking up those blasters in your cargo hold. Excuse the rush, but, uh, need to get out of here quick. This village used to be safe, but the Separatists are taking over. If I were you, I'd haul jets as soon as we're done. Who are these people? What are they after? Separatists want to break away from the Republic. <laughs> Judging from all the explosions, they're serious about the idea. Sounds like the bombing's getting closer. The Separatists will be right on top of us any minute. Here's your payment for making this run, Captain. As soon as I have those blasters, you'll be free to fly. Skavik, we've got a big problem. Separatists took over the local air defense cannon. Oh, slow down. Slow down, Corso. What are you talking about? They deployed some kind of remote control stations, hijacked the cannon's targeting computer. Damn Separatists just destroyed an incoming Republic transport. I'm sure the Republic troops will get everything under control. They've already got their hands full. Separatist rocket launchers just attacked a Republic walker. Knocked it down hard. With those remote control stations, the Separatists can override the air defense cannon's computer, turn that firepower against us any time they want. That's bad news, Captain. The Separatists will blast you out of the sky even if you think about taking off. The Separatists have remote control stations all over the area. You'll probably have to hit several before they lose control of that cannon. Pardon me, but my trigger finger needs a little exercise. Good luck. Hope we see you again. Let's move, Corso. We're running out of time. Okay, so that's the beginning of the story. 
and I'm assuming that you could read the text that was scrolling because it was so big, but if you couldn't, basically we have landed at Ord Mantell that is currently in a civil war between the Republic forces and a group called the Separatists, and the captain here, who is us, has just flown in to deliver a shipment of weapons and uh, because this has become a big kind of smuggling uh, area. So we're having a problem because the separatists want to uh, basically take control of the things that are able to control yeah, I can't even remember what he just said. The remote control stations. It's right here on my screen. Ah, okay. So, the, uh, the, they have these uh, things that can shoot down planes that we have to go and disable them so they can't shoot us so we can actually leave again. And uh, I am going to pause for a second. I am going to fix my screen because I like more action bars than this. I'm not going to go into a tutorial on how to do SWATOR action bars, but let's just say that if you come in here to the interface editor, it is crazy like how much customizing you can really, really customize this thing. So I'm going to pause here for a second, set it up how I like it, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to get started. Okay, so I have my bar set up how I want, and I've moved some of the, the uh, spells abilities over here. This one is called Sprint, and since we do not have a vehicle right now, we're on foot. We are going to turn this on. In fact, I leave it on all the time. So just click it, and now we've got a buff that's going to show here. And uh, this right here is our primary buff that we use. It lasts 60 minutes and it just hits, um, increases critical hit chance by 5%. So we'll just turn that all on. Uh, this other thing is for quick travel, which we will look at later. All right, so I was recording before and I kept getting hit with freaking copyright claims on the video game music by Sony Classical. Yeah, that asses. Anyway, so I have turned off the game music because I just don't want to deal with it anymore. And now I hear the ambient music was really, like, the ambient sound was really loud. Now I hear the sound effects is really loud. So I may end up turning that down a little bit. Right now you hear this, like, like this rumbling sound in the background. That's the sound effects volume. I've already played with it. I'm going to leave it up. We're going to see how it goes. But I may end up turning that down too. Hopefully it doesn't cause me too many problems. But let's go. We're going to walk out this door. Uh, because this is the way. We're looking for that pink arrow right there. And you see over here on the side it says story missions. And those are going to be shown in pink. Uh, anything pink is our critical path, right? So, they've changed the game. The whole reason that we're doing this is because it's 2016. They've changed the game. The game is so much easier to streamline your class story. And we're going to streamline our class story. I may pick up a fun quest here and there, just, you know, that's not on the class train. But I'm probably going to try to keep it mostly the class story. Uh, there's a few, like we're going to pick one up right outside here so I can show you the difference, um, how it looks to have a class quest versus a regular quest in your quest log. And that quest log is L, by the way, uh, or this little triangle here, which is going to indicate quests or uh, people who have quests and drop off locations and things like that throughout the whole game. So you can WASD in this game, you can arrow key, and doesn't really matter. You can mouse, whatever your preference is.
Okay, so when you see these guys, these medical droids, this is like a health repair kind of vendor. They sell um, Report your ailments. med packs that are health kits, basically. You can sell your gray junk to these people. You can repair at these, and you can buy stims, which are basically... You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Like, uh, boosts to your stats. This is a quick travel location and indicator, and this is for Dreliad Village, which is where we're at in Ord Mantel. And then this over here is a mailbox with mail in it, because I've been playing for ages, so the every single expansion they get like new freebies for subscribers. And that means that every single time I make a character, my mailbox is full of stuff. Like, right here you can see that this, I've got 20 mail sitting in there. So, we're moving on here. When you see somebody with a triangle over their head, like this, that means they have a quest for you. 